Hi, my name is Adam Keefe, captain of the Belfast Giants. I'm here today with the members of the RC Academy and having a great time here at the SSE. Hi, my name's Tina Hartley and I am part of the Odyssey Academy and I am with Adam Keefe, captain of the Belfast Giants. Adam, do you like animals? Do I like animals? Yes. I have a couple of dogs myself. Dogs? Are they your favourite animal? Um, I guess I have to say yes. Yes? What breed specifically? Uh, Yorkshire Terriers. So what is your favourite food in your hometown? My favourite food in my hometown? I got a few. When I go home I always go to these places. Uh, one is my local town where I grew up, Brampton. There's a pizza place it's called McKay Pizza. It's something that brings me back to my childhood so I always grab a slice when I go there. And then there's a couple of local fast food places, uh, Mr. Sub and Wendy's. Uh, so it's uh, well, I think Wendy's is an American brand, yeah. but they have it in Canada as well. So those are my uh, my cheat days when I go home. I go straight to those places. And my next question is: iPhone or Samsung? iPhone. Uh, iPhone. iPhone, but a couple people have been trying to sway me towards Samsung, so I'm unsure right now. Okay. I'm not sure which way to go for my next one, but uh, iPhone currently. Thank you. Ice hockey isn't the most uh, popular sport, so what or who got you into ice hockey? Um, I grew up in Scotland, uh, believe it or not. My parents were into ice hockey, my dad used to play hockey, and my mum was a figure skater and figure skating coach. So I sort of grew up around the rinks when I was younger, and then uh, just one thing after another took on from there, and just um, you know played up through the junior ranks and was over in America, um, and then the college ranks, and then on to pro after that. Nice. Um, you're facing Lith Lithuania tomorrow. Um, they also have two wins, such as and so does GB. So this will likely decide who goes up with Japan. Are you nervous, excited? What's the feelings uh, before tomorrow's game? Yeah, I think we're pretty confident. Um, they're a good squad. They, they beat us a couple of years ago in the same tournament. Um, and then last year we sort of dominated the game against them. So hopefully we can build off of that performance. And we had a couple of good performances so far. Um, in the two games and um, hopefully we can continue that tomorrow and, and set ourselves up for some good matches uh, Friday and Saturday against Holland and Japan. What made you start playing hockey? Uh, I started playing when I was three years old. I'm um, always like, was it just a sport you liked? Or yeah, basically sport? in Canada it's kind of like the the big sport I guess you could say growing up is uh, a lot of guys get together and play ice hockey on the lakes or the ponds growing, growing up in your neighborhood so it was just it was real common and it was kind of like the it was the big sport to play. Yeah. And uh, if you've if you've ever had a bad injury, what would be the worst? Uh, yeah, I've I've had a, a few bad injuries. I guess you could call them. Um, I guess probably broken jaws would be the worst. Broke my jaw a couple of times, so it's probably the worst injury. I guess. Uh, do you ever have a pre-game routine? Yeah, yeah. Um, so like basically, you always kind of you're in kind of the same routine. So it's one of the things I do before every game is I always get dressed a certain way. So I put my right side on before my left side. What was your favorite team to play for? Uh, I better say Belfast. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, the Belfast Giants have been my favorite team. Uh, definitely the most fun I've had playing hockey. What made you pick right wing? Right wing, um, right handed, and probably too slow to be a centerman, so uh, they stuck me. Would right you not want to be left side, but to uh, come in, cut inside in your right hand? I have been. Uh, play wherever they put you, really, so I've played left wing as well. Um, yeah, there are some perks of being on your off wing. And why have you been in the Simbin for 145 minutes this season? A uh, couple fights here and there and a couple of bad penalties, I guess. But uh, it's part of my job. What made you want to play centre, man? Centre, um, just always been sort of an offensive player and um, like to kind of get, get around the ice a lot and, you know, get a lot of touches on the puck and, uh, you know, try and dish it off to my teammates for assists as well. So, um, yeah, just the, the speed of the game and in the middle you can sort of, you know, almost like in football, in football as well, you can sort of cover a lot more of the, of the pitch or the ice. So, uh, a little bit more action and uh, a little bit more skating. What made you move from Scotland? Um, just when I grew up there, I started out playing ice hockey there, um, and ice hockey is not massive over there, so I kind of figured that if I wanted to progress and, and get more of a challenge and uh, you know and try and make it to the top leagues, I thought going to Canada or North America was the best idea. And do you enjoy playing for both the Giants and Great Britain? Yeah, the Giants is a great organization, and, and Belfast is a great city to play in, and made made Belfast my home now. So um, you know, it's a pleasure to be playing for the Giants as long as I have, and. 
hopefully still a few more years to go. But and it's good, good fun to play for Great Britain as well. Obviously an honor to play for your, for your country. And it's been, I think, about 17 years since my first first game of the national team. So um, hopefully we can sort of have a good week here and, and get a gold medal. How's, how's Belfast treated you from before? Yeah, very how's good. It? Very good. My, my wife's from Northern Ireland, so um, settled here nicely. And we have two kids now, so we, we really like the area. What made you pick Sander in the centre? Why did you not pick the Wings or defensive? Yeah, um, I guess it's one of the reasons probably because of my size. Um, so usually defensemen generally are, are bigger players to protect the front of the net and stuff. So um, I play centre and, and, I, and I do play the wing as well. Actually, I play left wing as well. So I kind of switch off centre and left wing. Do you like the travel? Um, I don't like the bus. I used to like the bus, but I don't like the bus anymore. The older you get, the, the bus trips get long. The flights are fine. Do you ever go back over to Canada and visit the family over in Canada? Yeah, we've never been over for, for a couple of years, but we're going back actually in, in a couple of weeks. My family, we're going back over to see uh, family and friends, so it's, it'll be good to see go. The World Championships are going on, so do you have any dark horses people should be watching for and why? Um, I'm not really familiar with all the teams, but I know Japan is coming down from the pool above, so uh, they're probably you know, the team to watch uh, as well. Team GB has, has been in the pool above, so I think that those are the two teams to watch. And hopefully on Saturday night, they'll be playing for the gold medal and uh, a promotion. And that's, you know, I guess, aside from that, from what we've seen, Lithuania has won the first two games and it'll be interesting game tomorrow to see Lithuania and GB and see how they get on. What was the best moment in your life? Best moment in my life, I guess, three things I can think about top of my head would be getting married, my wife, and having my two kids. My, my son is three years old and my daughter is a year old. And what's the, would the Giants be the best team you've ever played for? Uh, I would certainly be up there. Um, this year we, I think we had a, we had a good team. We um, unfortunately didn't win the league, but I, I think on the ice we, uh, we played well. Cardiff obviously uh, played a little bit better. Yeah. If you could be a world class player in any other sport, what sport would you choose? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I'd have to say maybe something like golf. I always like playing golf in the summer, and um, it's a lot of hockey, ice hockey players seem to play golf in the off season. It's kind of natural, sing, similar, you know, ice hockey shot and swing motion. So. Okay. And what do you love most about the Giants? Uh, just the city and the fans, and and um, you know, just the following we have, and everyone's real passionate about ice hockey and Belfast and Northern Ireland, and. Um, you can see that with the turnout at the games and, and um, obviously we've had a lot of success as well over the last you know, 10 years that I've been here but since the Giants started and I think it makes a special place to play when you've got that commitment from everyone involved and you're competing for trophies every year. Well, and do you have a favourite place to eat in Belfast? <laughs> favourite place to eat? Oh, I have to think of a Giant sponsor here but no, I, the, uh, I, think, I like Boujum, Boujum's a good uh, burrito place there. So. Who's been the most intense game? like playing for GB on the Giants, who would you say was the hardest game? Intense game? Well this year it was some good intense ones against Sheffield and Cardiff because they had some really good squads and it seemed we were always running up against them in the Cups and then uh, Cardiff were sort of battling it back and forth for the league title this year so um, felt like we pushed them right to the end but they had a really good squad and um, really good balance throughout their lineup and they just seemed to you know, not hit any speed bumps and we couldn't seem to knock them off and then uh, we obviously ran into Sheffield in the, the playoffs in the final four um, it was a really good game, they won 2-0, so, um, but they had an empty net goal at the end where we, we pulled our goalie, but uh, I thought it was a really good game and um, that was a real battle as well, I thought. A lot of uh, you have come over from Canada, eh? How are you adjusting to life here and how do you feel the locals have treated you? Uh, locals have been awesome. Uh, I've loved my time here, been treated really well. Uh, people generally like Canadians, so happy about that, uh, although I do get off the asked often if I'm American. Uh, I'm quick to correct them that I'm Canadian, but uh, I've been treated awesome here. You know, I now am from here. I live here. I call this place home, so I bought a home here. Uh, so I'm, I guess I'm, I'm a local now. Google has your height as 183, and then the Belfast Giants <laughs> website has it at 180. So what's your actual height? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll pick something in the middle there. But these guys who do the website, we can blame you guys. Or no, yeah, Neil or Daniel. Someone can blame those guys. But yeah, sometimes um, that stuff's a little bit inaccurate. But uh, I don't know. We'll take something in the middle. <laughs> All right. And uh, you've scored 56 points this season, including the playoffs. 
How have you feel you've done this season and the team overall? Yeah, I thought it was a good season. Um, as far as the team goes, we had a really good year. We battled hard all season. We we had pretty consistent. You know, we took Sheffield right to the brink in the playoffs, and then Cardiff. We seemed to push them all the way. Um, they didn't clinch the league title till the last weekend. So I thought it was a good season and a um, couple of unlucky unlucky losses throughout. Maybe we were kind of came back and haunted us a little bit at the end. And as far as my own performance goes, I was pretty happy with it. I thought. You know, tried to contribute as much as I could to the team in, in different ways. And um, as I said before, I was with some good line mates, so they made it pretty easy as far as the offense goes. That's Tina Hartley on Odyssey Academy Live. Thank you. Yeah! yeah that was so much fun. You don't need to do that.